my channel. So today I created a really nice neutral type of daytime look yet still very glamorous if you're going out somewhere special during the day. So if you want to see how to recreate this then please keep watching. Hey guys! So my eyes are already primed with MAC's Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to be taking a cool tone brown color. This one that I'm using today is Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach and I'm just going to be dusting that into my crease and a little bit into the outer V. This color I find it's not as smooth as her other shadows so it takes a little bit of blending but we're just going to build it up until we are satisfied. Next, I'm going to be going into my Morphe Taupe palette, or sometimes people call it the 35T for short. And I'm going to be mixing those two purple colors that are at the bottom. And I'll be taking a fluffy dome brush just to dust that on top of that brown shadow that we used. And like that, it's going to create a little bit of a cooler effect. And this is obviously a purple, so they are more warm tone, but I find when you mix it under a cooler tone brown base, it will give that a nice effect if you're going for a taupey neutral look for the daytime. Next, I'm going to be taking Buxom's Satin Seduction and I'm just going to be applying that to my brow bone. And like I've said before, I'm really impressed with the Buxom eyeshadows. You guys should really check them out. And I should be having a review coming up soon. I just need to get some more time to film. For my eyelid shade, I'm going to be using ColourPop's I Heart This, and it's a really beautiful, cool tone, taupey, silver, gold type of shade. And afterwards, we're just going to be um, pretty much going over our crease shade because these are metallic colors and they can get up into the crease. And for my inner tear duct highlight. I'm going to be using another shade from Colourpop and it's pretty much just like a snow white metallic color and it's called Tassel. After that I just took my MAC 217 brush and I applied those same two purple shades to my lower lash line and then I put on some mascara. Off camera, I added some false lashes. The ones that I'm using today are Red Cherry 138, and you can totally go without them, but we were going for like a kind of glam daytime look, so I thought that I'd add in some false lashes. And as you can see, I'm just pressing in my concealer into my skin. I normally let it bake first, then I press it in, and then I use the Beauty Blender just to add in a bit of moisture. Today I'm just going to be bronzing lightly with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. For blush today I'm going to be using this bright pink color from the BH Cosmetics blush palette. And as you can see it is super pigmented so I'm just going over it with my beauty blender. If ever you find something became a little bit too pigmented just Take out your beauty blender and press it into the skin and it will diffuse it. For highlight today, to stick with the taupey, silvery gold type of feel, I'm using Becca's Opal and I'll just be applying that to my cheekbones and whatever's left off to my cupid's bow and a little bit on the tip of my nose. Today I chose to use Max Lip Pencil in Spice. This is perfect for the daytime if you're going for like a really natural type of look and you want that nude kind of brownish shade. And I really like to pair it with Max Peach Stock Lipstick. And then on top of it today I'm just going to add a little bit of gloss to give a little bit of a glow. And this is BH Cosmetics Angel Kiss.
that's my go-to daytime glam look. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!